Craig Hare, Trinity County Waterworks. I'm the district manager. I've been with the district since 1982. Um, all phases, started out as a meter reader, worked my way all the way up to manager. Basically, our, our treatment plant is our limiting factor. We have plenty of raw water, but we can only treat it so fast. The plant was designed and constructed in 1968. Um, they projected a 30-year lifespan on it. So we were nearing our capacity. And so we were looking at what we would need to do in order to inc inc increase that capacity. Um, but it's like a remodel on a house. The health department won't let you just kind of fix things. If you're going to create two million gallons in capacity, it's not based on what 1968 regulations are. It's based on 2008 regulations, um, which really drove up the cost. So that's why we looked at the concept of lowering the demand on the treatment plant rather than increasing the capacity of the treatment plant. rather than trying to find a new supply of water in order to make a long-term reliable supply for Hay Fork, came up with the concept of the, the reclaimed water and uh, the irrigation water for our five large users. Um, the, the benefit to that was um, the entities that we serve are all public agencies that were having budget problems to begin with. Nobody really wanted to just stop the football program. Nobody wanted to stop watering the cemetery. So by us getting that demand off of the potable treatment side um, did so many things in so many different directions it was just a good fit. To get the the large irrigators off of the potable supply we would create the capacity um, rather than build it into infrastructure. Um, the schools and the fairgrounds were really receptive of it because we approached them and said, look, if you help us and support the project, you hook into it and use our water, we'll start with like a 30% reduction in your rates. Well, who's going to argue with that? So even if they used the same amount as they used five years ago, all of that water is saved on the domestic side and can be used for all kinds of things. Um, and then the, the benefit back to the creek without the schools and the fairgrounds pumping out of the creek, it leaves that water in there. Um, this is 2013, there's not a whole lot of water in there. This has been a really bad year. So if those facilities were still trying to even keep their sites somewhat green, it would have been detrimental to the fish. The way that the treatment plant is designed, there's four filters, but there's only one common underdrain. Um, filters, a water filter is no different than an oil filter or an air filter. They get dirty. Um, most people have swimming pools, they'll understand a, a dirty swimming pool filter. Um, in a water treatment plant, you use treated water to wash those filters. So when you take, when, when a filter gets dirty, you actually take that filter out of service. It's no longer in production. You take water you've already treated, and you force that up through the bottom of the filters and you waste that water. Um, for 30 years, that's how this plant ran. And all of that water just went down the hill and into the creek. And there was people along the, the ditch line that would use that water for, you know, maybe their garden or something. But uh, for the most part, it all just headed to Hayfork Creek. Um, at some point, the regional board wasn't going to allow that anymore. Um, but what we were able to do was capture that water, settle it out through a settling pond, and put that water back in the headworks to where we can either put it into the irrigation system or run it right back through the water treatment plant again. Um, and it, it, it equates to many hundreds of thousands of gallons of water a day. Um, that's water that we don't have to pump again. Um, it's water we don't really have to treat as much as we did before. It's fairly clean water. Uh, the, the sediment that gets trapped in the filter settles out pretty readily. Um, it's already been chlorinated. Um, we have to chlorinate it again after we filter it again, but it, it goes right through the filters. It's, it, um, it's just good water to start with. Um, so as far as a resource goes, that water, rather than being totally wasted, gets used either back through the headworks or back into the irrigation system. So it, it, it's a win-win. Um, and then with the fire situation, I mean, two years ago with the Stafford fire, I always hesitate to say it because I don't want town to get into a panic, but if we hadn't had the irrigation system, we would have run out of water. There's no doubt in my mind. 
we have the pumps in Ewing Reservoir that pump to the treatment plant have about a two and a half million gallon a day capacity. Um, we have those running nonstop 24 hours a day for about a week and a half and still losing ground in the, the supply pond that feeds the plant um, and in the tank. So that would have been cut probably in half time frame wise. So the first week of the fire, we would have run out of water. There's just no doubt. I have said for years that I foresee at some point in the future most agencies having at least a dual system of potable water and non-potable water. I think at some point it'll even be three systems. Um, you're going to have reclaimed wastewater um, that's going to be, in my opinion, tertiary water that they can use for landscaping and parks and golf courses and that kind of stuff. Um, you'll have your non-potable water for household uses, toilet flushing, probably even showers because you can chlorinate it, uh, but still not meet state standards for drinking. And then you're truly drinking water. Um, and I foresee that's going to be one little bitty pipe that goes straight to the kitchen sink. Um, the, the days of just screening water and sending it out as drinking water are gone. Uh, between the state health department and EPA um, with heavy metals and, and nitrates and things that, that are difficult to remove um, from, from groundwater supplies, um, we're gonna, everybody's going to be going to at least dual systems. I really believe that. The pieces that, of the puzzle that we had for our project were very unique. Um, Again, because of the location of the facilities to us, um, the availability we had to the high school and the airport to cross the properties, um, the willingness of those entities to subscribe on and support the system, I think it was unique.